The show is called Transfigurations. The reason I called it Transfigurations is because of really the pivotal place that all of these drawings had in my life as an artist. And they are really transfigurations of people and ideas into human form, but it's also transfigurative for the work that I do now. This particular body of work was done in, from about 1970 to 1975 and uh, it took a certain amount of courage in my part to bring it out again. But when I saw my work and I saw how fresh it was, I thought, yes, this is a major part of who I am. It's the underlying spirit in everything I do. So these were all the beginnings of my progress from being someone who drew things in a rectangle to someone who pulled the drawings out of the rectangle and began to enliven them. The uh, black and white work is much more traditional and that's sort of where I started. But the dancers are different. As you walk past them, you'll see their hips move. They change weight and they change their posture. They do shift. I was experimenting by having part of the drawing freestanding and it was a way to create a sense of life and movement in it. I worked on these about seven, eight hours straight without stopping. And uh, at the end of a long day, I distinctly felt almost like an out-of-body experience that the work was doing itself. That experience is what an artist craves. You lose yourself in the work, and it's absolutely exhilarating. As you see in some of these, there are collage pieces blended. And it's not that I had one piece of paper that I painted. These were monoprints. And so I was painting on something else and then would cut out and fit it into the drawing and then continue the drawing. So the head of a green-bellied monster is all monoprint collage. Did I plan it that way? No, but one thing led to another. I think if anything, that transition is what I'm going to be playing with for my next body of work. Now this group really is an allegory of corporate man. Three clusters plus a sky. The Lucifer on the right, he's directing the band and he's like the corporate head. The angels are rather emasculated. They are blind. And they're leaping in unison. They have no individual thought. The one on the far left has a reflective surface so that anybody passing by becomes part of it. You see yourself in it. His feet are of clay and he's right down on the floor. And he's gazing up to heaven. His head is the same collage as the sky, but he can't make it. And in fact, the angels who are leaping aren't quite making it either. That's why the strip for heaven is made like a puzzle that doesn't quite fit. And then there's the devil on the right, who um, his posture is very arrogant, proud, and he's really very stupid looking. <laughs> so you can snicker all you want. I think that you should feel free to laugh, get angry, whatever. I mean, that's what I wanted to uh, encourage in what I did. Now, why did I separate these two, the, the, the uh, head from the legs for this one? The placement on the wall separated this way, allows the eye to draw the body where her arms are, shoulders, her waist. I mean, the human eye wants to complete something. It makes it interesting for the person who's watching, if you realize that.